Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to the finale of our Spring Vibes series for this year. I have had so much fun making these cups and I think this one is definitely one of my favorites from the whole series. Now because this is the finale, I also wanted to use this time to share some exciting news with you all. This is the debut of my new rebrand. I have been thinking about doing this for a while. I talked to my mom who, if you guys didn't know, is Manny in Made by Manny and Mao. And she was saying, listen, you need to go out on your own. I have no part in this. You do all of this by yourself. It should just be you. So with her encouragement and a lot of mulling it over, I have decided to rebrand my business to Made by Mal. So you guys are going to see in just a second my brand new intro video. I am going to be updating my website and changing things over. Hopefully within the next week or so everything will be done, but I am so excited to just start this new chapter, but everything will really stay the same. We're going kind of new brand, but same vibe. Everything's staying the same. We're going to do tumblers. We're going to have fun on this channel. And I'm excited to just start this new chapter of the business. So I hope you all enjoy the change. Let me know what you think. I'm really excited for this new chapter and yeah, good things are coming. So I hope you all enjoy this video. I hope you like the new intro. I hope you like the new outro video. And yeah, so that's it. I hope you all enjoy the finale for the Spring Vibe series. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. You know the drill, give it a thumbs up if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I'll have a full supply list and everything down below in the description box for you. Okay, let's go. going to start out by glittering our tumbler today. So I'm going to mix up some of my Crystalac glitter glue and my pink acrylic paint. The name of this color is bubblegum. It's the perfect bubblegum pink. So I'm going to mix that up and then I'm going to apply it to my tumbler. Now this tumbler is already white. It's a sublimation tumbler and I had actually done a foil wrap on this and for some reason in my brain, I thought that the white daisies on the foil would show up on the white tumbler. That was definitely a blonde moment. So I just used this tumbler for a completely different design. So please ignore the daisies and little dots that you see on my tumbler because that's what that is. So I'm just going to brush a nice even layer of the pink paint and glitter glue mixture all over the tumbler and then we will add our glitter. I'm going to be using Love You By, which is one of the colors from my collab with Peachy Olive Glitters. And at the time that I'm recording this, Love You By is now back in stock. So if you've been wanting it, run to peachyoliveglitters.com and order it. You can also use my discount code Mallory10 to save you 10% on your purchase. So I'm just going to cover the entire cup with this one glitter. This is a fine cut glitter, which is going to make our epoxy layers really, really easy and allow us to not have to do a million coats of epoxy over the glitter because really this is just going to be a very pretty sparkly background for all of the stuff we're going to add on top. So you don't need to worry too much about this bottom glitter layer. I would say any fine cut color that you have will be totally fine for this technique. So I let my glitter glue dry for two hours and then I added one thick coat of epoxy to my tumbler. I did not seal the glitter, there was really no need to. Um, so after the glitter glue dried, my coat of epoxy was 30 to 35 milliliters of the Flint Sisters Fast Cure Epoxy. And now my cup is smooth enough to add my semi-transparent vinyl over it. If your cup is not totally smooth after just one thick coat, you can add a second coat. I would actually recommend doing that. I just kind of lucked out with one coat being enough, but usually I would recommend two coats of epoxy over your glitter before you add anything on top of it. Just make sure, of course, like I always say, if you're using a semi-transparent or a clear pattern, please make sure that you do not have any sanding marks or dull areas on your tumbler because those will not shine back up if they're covered with clear vinyl. So 
make sure you've got a smooth, shiny tumbler before you move on to this step. So as you saw, I cut off all of the clear or white edges from my vinyl. So now I've just got full pattern on here and I'm going to wrap the entire cup with this vinyl. Now, like I said, this is a semi-transparent print. So all of the images are printed with a white ink backing. So they're really gonna pop off of this glitter background. And then anything that you see on the vinyl that is white right now is the backing showing through. So all of those areas will be our pink glitter showing through once we've got this applied to the tumbler. So I'm going to apply this to my cup the same way I do any other pattern vinyl. I'm gonna adhere one end down with some painter's tape then I'll remove a little bit of the backing from the vinyl and use my vinyl squeegee to push the vinyl onto the tumbler, pushing the backing away as I go. Now, because this is a semi-transparent pattern and you can see through the pattern when the vinyl overlaps because of those clear areas, I'm going to do my signature wavy line cut here on the seam just to camouflage it a little bit more. I didn't want to have a harsh straight line showing underneath the clear portions of the vinyl when we get to the back part of it. As always, I really want to camouflage the seam of the vinyl the best I can. So cutting that wavy line in the back first and then doing another one when I layer that finishing edge of vinyl on top just helps to hide the seam a little bit more. Of course, if you want to cut a straight line, that's totally fine. I just find that the wavy lines always help camouflage the seam a little bit better. Once I'm finished with the seam, I'm going to get rid of all of this excess vinyl from the top rim of the tumbler. Now I'm being really careful to pull this as tightly as I can up over the top rim, but the areas that are printed with the flowers on them are not super stretchy. The clear vinyl itself is stretchy, but once it's got those flowers printed on it, it gets a little bit thicker and not as elastic. So I'm just doing my best to not like ruin it as I try to pull it tightly. And then of course I'm using a brand new blade on my craft knife. That seriously I think makes all the difference when you're doing stuff like this. So once I've gotten rid of all of that vinyl up at the top, I'm ready to move on to my next step. Because I lined the vinyl up nicely on the bottom of the tumbler, there is no excess to cut off from the bottom. I am going to add a little vinyl stripe at the bottom of the cup though, just to finish off the wrap and make it look a little bit more polished. So I'm taking a strip of the colorful pearl blue vinyl from Tech Wrap Craft, and I cut this out, I think at 0 0.10 inches in width, and I'm just gonna wrap it right around the bottom edge of our vinyl to finish that off and make it not look like a just raw vinyl edge. Okay, so now we get to the fun part. I'm gonna do a little bit of an epoxy swirl on this tumbler. I wanted to do something different with the pattern vinyl. I didn't wanna just wrap the vinyl around the cup and say, okay, that's it. I really wanted to do something extra to really take this design to the next level. So what I'm going to do is take three separate medicine cups and I'm gonna mix in three different white things. So I've got my White Waves epoxy dye from KS Resin. I had some glitter that I mixed into some epoxy and then I'm gonna take Cultured Pearl from Simply Sarah Custom Creations and I'm gonna put a little bit of that in. So into each of my cups, I put maybe five milliliters of epoxy max and then I'm putting just a tiny bit of each thing into their own medicine cup. And we're gonna go one by one applying a really pretty spring like ethereal swirl to this cup. So before I can add all of my swirl elements, I'm gonna put just a regular plain coat of epoxy onto the tumbler. For this process, by the way, I'm using the Flint Sisters Artist Cure Epoxy. Because it takes longer than the Fast Cure to cure, I wanted to use that so that I had a really long working time and didn't have to worry about any flash curing or anything like that. So this coat of epoxy that I'm putting on is really thin. It's maybe about 20 milliliters, and I'm gonna let that spin for about maybe 10 minutes before I go in and start adding my swirl. So starting first with the White Waves epoxy dye, I'm going to, as you can see, just stripe it on my tumbler, kind of the same way that I do a Milky Way technique. This is not really a Milky Way, but we're gonna do 
kind of the same thing that we would if it were a Milky Way. So I'm just going to stripe that onto my tumbler. And then as you can see, I'm going to take my gloved hand and disperse that white pigment, kind of like break it up a little bit. I'm just going to move it around, make it look a little bit more natural and not so stripey. And if you don't have a white epoxy dye, by the way, you can also use white acrylic paint that will work in essentially the same way. So once I'm done kind of brushing that out, moving it around, making it look a little bit more soft and not so harsh, I'm going to move into my next element and I'm going to use the mica powder. So what I'm going to do with that is lay it inside those white areas that we laid down because it's going to give a really pretty marble effect and it kind of like breaks up the white a little bit and kind of reminds me of veining in a marble pattern. So I'm going to take that and just string it through the white sections. I'm also going to put it just randomly on the cup as well in its own little swirl lines, but I really like it the most when it kind of breaks up that white pigment even more. So I'm going to do quite a bit of that on the tumbler. Now with the mica and the glitter, you really can't do too much. The only thing I would really kind of monitor in your application is the white pigment because of course you don't want to cover up too much of the pattern vinyl that you have laying down. I also wanted to make sure that I showed enough of that love you by glitter and that these swirls that we're adding are really just an accent to what we've already got on the cup, not covering all of it up and like hiding all of that work that we did earlier. But mica powder, glitter, all of that is really only going to enhance your design. So in my opinion, you can't really add too much of that to your swirl. So after applying the mica powder, we're going to move into applying the glitter portion of the swirl. And now I'm going to essentially do the exact same thing that I did with the mica. I'm going to swirl some of that glitter through the white areas that we've got down and then add some random strips of just the glitter by itself to the tumbler as well. And this really just enhances that marble look like I was saying with the mica, the glitter, the white, just really gives it this beautiful dimensional marble swirl kind of look. Now because I'm me and I always have to add more glitter to things, I'm going to take some basic white girl from Peachy Olive Glitters. It's a really pretty iridescent chunky white color and what I'm going to do is just take a little pinch of that or a few pinches of it and just sprinkle it throughout that swirl that we've got going on our tumbler just to again enhance the dimension, add more sparkle and just give it a little bit of extra something something you know. Of course like I always say this is optional but I think it just enhances the design and I love adding extra glitter to things. You guys know me. So once that coat of epoxy was all cured, I did add another coat to the top as my final coat. And that coat was about maybe 25 milliliters, again, using the Flint Sisters Artist Cure Epoxy. And once that final coat was cured, we are all done. So here is the final tumbler design. I'm thinking I might have to keep this one for myself because I really, really love how it turned out. I hope you all enjoyed the tutorial, of course. If you did, be sure to give the video a thumbs up down below. Let me know what you think down below in the comments as well. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you are not already. I upload brand new videos every single week and you don't want to miss them. Okay, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Okay, love you. Bye! I want to say a special thank you to all of my channel members, subscribers, and especially my elite fam. Thank you guys for all of your support. I literally could not do this without you. If you want to be part of the fam, you can subscribe to the channel, join as a channel member, or if you'd like the full shebang, extra content, and all of that, you can join my elite fam by going to patreon.com slash elite fam. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I love you so much, and I'm so grateful for all of you, and I'll see you in the next video. Here's one if you want to check it out. Okay, love you. Bye.